this process and the 10 years that went into that, watching the international multi-stakeholder process develop was interesting. And uh, there's a lot to that and there were ebbs and flows and it's really gelled. What I realized is when we, when we talked about kicking off the US IGF process, we didn't have a multi-stakeholder approach domestically. And it's been interesting to watch the dynamics of our own domestic multi-stakeholder process mirror very much the global process. So from my perspective, that's been interesting and I think a real value add. I'm not sure that everyone fully appreciates, um, but we do definitely. So just very briefly, um, you know, NTAA, but the broader U.S. government is very committed to the IGF process, and we've been very involved in the national um, IGF, mm -hmm. and that's demonstrated by the commitment of sort of senior political leaders into this process. So at each of these op these sort of plenary sessions, we had senior officials participate. So in the opening session, it was Ambassador Revere. In the afternoon plenary, Andrew McLaughlin, who most a lot of you heard um, speak on Tuesday, and the closing plenary it was my boss, Assistant Secretary Larry Strickling. And each of these three individuals, plus the, the broader group of administration officials that are committed to sort of an open internet, internet policy, think this is a phenomenal thing. And that's why they keep showing up at these things and participating. And just briefly to sort of highlight, I think, the, the, the three themes that they sort of discussed. So Ambassador Revere would have focused on the continuation of the IGF and how important it is for us and how important the New York process is and how we're taking it very seriously and we're committed to seeing through that. Um, Andrew gave sort of uh, echoes and shades of the, the, uh, the, the comments he made um, on Tuesday, although they're much more well formulated now, because that was an earlier sort of test run of some of that, so that was very useful for us. And also talked about some of our broader open uh, government initiatives. And then my boss sort of gave an update on what we're doing domestically on our internet policy agenda. We have a Department of Commerce Internet Policy Task Force, and he talked through that and, you know, some specific things with respect to ICANN. But I think one of the important messages that he tried to leave to the group was that, you know, we take this very seriously. And that was evidenced by the fact that when he looked out into the audience, um, there were 10 NTIA staff in the audience at that time, let alone other agency officials. And he wanted to make clear to folks that we take it seriously, we show up and we participate and we listen. And everything from that day, we've discussed back at the office. And that feeds back into our policy making discussions in our own agency. So he wanted to stress that, that point that this multi-stakeholder process and the importance of it and how it directly impacts U.S. government policy making. And I think that's, you know, a testament to sort of the, all the good work you guys do. But I will leave it with that. Thank you. We're going to get a very...